Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode from Ampro Engineering. In this episode, we are going to install body mounts on this body so that you no longer have to remove these irritating screws. So step one, unscrew those irritating screws and never do it again because now we have got these pieces. And what are these pieces? Well, I don't know. I forgot I did them a while ago. Let's uh, try and install them and see how it works out. The first thing we're going to do is remove this upper plate and that'll give us access to some of the screws that we need to unscrew here for later on. This is the rear of the unit. In fact, this is the driver's side part. We need to remove these body mounts as well as the rock guard. These can be retrofit with some Ampro units as well. For my application, I'm not gonna use them, but there'll be a link in the description to how to get these. So with the body off and the radio tray off, we'll take off the body mounts as well as the rock sliders. We have to cut off this lovely zip tie, unfortunately, but we'll replace it later on. I think the rear ones will be okay. And then you want to line this up you want that little flange side toward the front of the car and the open hole at the rear. This one with the little notches there will be toward the inside of the chassis. So this is the passenger side and here is the driver's side. All you have to do is line up the two body mount holes like that and like that and put some screws in it and you're done. I went ahead and tapped these with an M3 tap. Either way, you do have to completely clear these out with a 2.5 millimeter drill bit. They were packed with support material. Even if you do these at home on an FDM printer, you have to do the same thing. Self-tapping screws probably would be better with an FDM, but for these nylon prints, the machine screw is fine. The longer, the better. If you've got a screw that'll go through the chassis and almost all the way through this, that'll be fantastic because the screw ends up being structural as well. Now that these are installed, we can go ahead and put the radio tray back in place since theoretically they won't be in the way. All right, always, always good to, oh, that's right. I completely forgot. These posts here, which I think they hold the battery in, which is kind of weird. You got to chop that sucker right off. Now that the little tabs have been cut off the radio tray or the battery tray in this case here, it has been reinstalled. Don't forget to put the zip ties back in there to hold the wiring out of the moving bits. And now let's move this aside and look at the body. Putting something soft down, we can put the body over here. Basically, we just draw our attention to where the old body mounting area was. This is going to go right there. And unfortunately, a wee bit of the interior is in the way. You're gonna have to trim off just a little bit here. I don't quite know how much, but I'll let you know in a moment. This is the extent of the modification necessary to the body, which is really, really minimal. It's two millimeters deep. And the best way to figure out where to do this on your car is to simply take the body mount set it in place where it's lined up to the holes and then just get your silver sharpie and make a little mark on either side of it and i used this burr tool in this orientation it was very very clean very very safe and i was easily able to take an exacto knife and trim up the edges to make it nice and clean i also wanted to note that i don't have this going all the way flush with the edge and the reason for that is tires i initially had thought about doing this but i had a couple of other vehicles where they rub on an earlier variant of this so i decided against it so that is the reason why this doesn't go all the way to the edge at the rear you can see it hangs off a little bit but it's inset using this little feature right here and uh, this way it gets a good mounting to the bed. So you can feel free and install these with the same hardware that came off of the truck. When it's installed, it should be nice and flush to the bottom of the door. Now for the other side. With these body mounts installed, we can put the body back on the chassis. Now is the time where we see if I've done this correct or not. So I should just drop straight down, maybe. There you go, installed. And now to install the cotter pin. The openings on these body mounts should be more than large enough to have the cotter pin just drop into place. But perhaps if I was smarter, I would have told you all to just run a 1.5 millimeter drill bit through them. You can see some of the nylon that's falling out as I'm pushing them through because I didn't do that. And the last one. 
right, so now to change your batteries, all you do is pull those pins out and you have access to the insides of the car. You're not gonna end up chewing up these holes. I know a lot of people end up putting studs in here, but I mean, I don't know, to me, if you catch the body on something, it could undo the body. Or over time, it's just gonna oblong out those holes and kind of make a mess of it. In this application here, You'll never have to deal with that again. This isn't for everyone, of course. You know, there are, the rock sliders have been removed. There is a variant of this that does have rock sliders. They simply thread into these two points here. They work really well for scale driving. This is good for trail trucks, not for any kind of hardcore rock crawler or anything. So that's it, everyone. The link is in the description to these parts. You will be seeing quite a lot more of this truck in the coming weeks. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time.